Well, hello everybody and welcome back again to Pocket Captains Presents The Master of Orion 2, where we are going to do an impossible game using my new favorite race, the Daleks. Now, curiously, we've started off the last round. We played an hour. We didn't find anybody except the hint of the Borathi. Um, I've got my a defense ship here and a defense ship here. So uh, we shouldn't be in too rough a straits if something should attack yet. I have got the most out of my command points anyway. Um, certainly we're, we're hurting for star bases. We need to get those up. We've expanded fast, but we're also very weak. We got some housing. We're out there. We're looking for other people. We're still building colony ships. We're still expanding, even though we haven't quite got the, the firepower to hold what we've got. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll move this one over here. I hate to give up science, uh, uh, but that's in the same colony. And we are hurting for star bases, automated factory, hydroponic, supercomputers, star base, marine barracks. Let's get them building. We'd like to see four, but three is all I need to get that started. Housing, see, I could, I'm working on it here in the same way. Um, could get this one started too, technically, with three guys. I mean, it's not like... I'm worried about pollution, hydroponic, research lab, supercomputer, especially when you have terraforming, starbase, marine bar, uh, even the marine barracks could probably wait, terraforming, because really I need to get these guys up to speed quicker, because uh, I have a feeling tonight we're going to encounter somebody, it's probably going to be the Borathi, if I remember correctly, these worlds here are all dead as a doornail, not a lot of potential here, we guard them at our back door, but... Are they going to really help us? Well, um, um, maybe. There's an abundant world there. Poor, not very exciting, but they are in our back door, so Nihilar is going to have to be protected with a colony. Uh, abundant, but it is, of course, toxic. So we have some craptacular worlds around here we can colonize. Now, then there's Lyre. Oh, I like Lyre. That's not a bad system. And Miract. And I think Mirac is where we were going next. Mirac going to probably pop this thing wide open. So let's just go ahead and dig into this thing and see if we can encounter somebody and find out what our, our fleets can do. Our research was, just to remind myself, Space Academy. So I'm getting ready to go up the, the construction tree a little bit. I was debating Robo Miners or not. Hmm... 3510. It can't be too much longer till the interns come, till enemy fleets come. I really should. I would love to do construction, but I think I should think about the defense of the realm. Soil enrichment at the new shipyard world. That's going to help. And for this world, I think there's another rich world here. We're going to throw up a colony base and then terraforming. For thinking about shipyard worlds, research is not as important as um, numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. I want as many people on this world as I can. Uh, the colony base, though, is well, it's a rich world, so I should occupy it. Get things rolling. Oh, good. I love to see that surplus now. I need the research, but I might just drop him next door, get him up to four. I like to see four. Uh, I don't know why I've always found it to be the optimum number for construction. Anything more than four is a bit of a waste, but four seems to to get things going. And I really need to to move the update my construction. I need more construction. Another colony ship coming. My goodness, we are good for colonies. Lousy for spies right now. Oh, supercomputer for sure. And another colony ship because that world's still doing most of my research. Unfortunately, that's not going to last much longer. Pretty soon, these other worlds are going to start getting into the research game. Space Academy it is. Battle pods before Merculites because, well, if you're going to build a ship, you might as well put some battle pods on it. That extra 50% space, he can't turn it down. Colony ship. I, I have it on all my ships from now to the end of the game. I mean, I, I'm a fool not to take advantage of it. So that's going there, and this one is going to Miract. That's going to be the one I think it's going to set everything off. And as much as I like somebody on one of these shipyards, 
They're going to mirror act as soon as they can. Um, oh, good. Good, good, good. UTE. Now, um, yeah, this one's got Starbase coming. Supercomputer first, please. This one at least can do research. So this extra guy will go back to this world where he can do more good researching. Even though this one's a bigger world. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the research bonus. Yep. And the shipyards are going to pop. The, a terraform is going to pop there. Good. Get my numbers up. And if I'm ever blockaded, a little farming. Okay. So everybody's really just starting to come along now. Uh, uh, 1C Ute. My utility world. Let's see what they destroyed. Terraforming. What do I do next? It's a no-brainer. Soil enrichment and terraform some more. More numbers. Until we're ready to upgrade our fleet size. So, 1C3 Ute. Uh, sorry, is it this one? Not that one. They're fine. Huh. You know, I really don't know what was destroyed. It's probably the research lab. That's what it was. Easily replaceable. We're not going to interrupt that star base. I need more command points. So, because uh, I need I need to start building up a, a better fleet. We are going to encounter somebody soon. It's an impossible game, and you lose them by not being ready. Farming. Could use some more of that terraforming thing happening. Not on my shipyard worlds, of course. Colony base. Colony base. Yes, that's the one I wanted. Unless there's some pretty good surplus on the other shipyard world. They're going to stick to what they're doing. So housing. I want that dragon. The dragon calls to me. I Yeah, I make a beeline for the dragons. I don't lie about that. Dragons equals money. I could do that. That Just that doubling. He went from uh, 148 to 216. It's a huge boost in uh, housing. It's a shortage of food somewhere else. But yeah, he'll make that back. Not my favorite part, moving people around because of the farming, but as uh, soil enrichment and terraforming start to become the norm, that's about to change. Yeah, yeah, it did not have a, an ultra-rich, but it did have a rich with ancient artifacts. And that needs a fleet, no matter how you slice it. So how are we doing? Soil enrichment. Terraforming, that's the shipyard, so nobody's actually doing farming there. Who cares? We're a little short on freighters, though. And I do care about that. Who loves to make freighters? Housing. You're done with housing. Thank you much for playing. Supercomputer. That's what I like to see. A colony established and going. Um, I'm going to have to use this world. Interrupt the colony ships even though I need them. Freighter is important. And I don't see anybody idle. Ute is the perfect world for freighters, actually. Even ahead of the research, which I desperately need. Let's keep the freighters going. Um, hydroponics, making freighters less necessary. Housing with two people. Oh! The memory colony has an excess, and they're the ones who are starving. Not making me happy, but I overlooked something important. Now, what's next? Hydroponics. Okay, good. So one of those other worlds that were a little short on people. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little short on food. They just got a boost. This one, of course, is starting to absorb some of that boost. 1B Colony. I can move this guy over to here and get him going. Again, some of these worlds are pretty weak. I want them to get up. I want them to get established. Oh, good. This world's about to go terraforming, which means I can put some people over here into farming it when, I'm, when it's ready. Um, we have enough food. That's about to pop. Good. Things are going very well. 
battle pods. Now let's get ready for war. Merculites. Something's coming. My research is low and I've got to get ready for it. Terraforming. Terraforming is going to help a lot in that department. Oh, they've maxed out. Space Academy. Research Lab. Supercomputer. Marine Barracks. Um, housing. I want them to be in the right position. I'm going to do the Research Lab in the Space Academy now because... I'm not actually at war. I have no command points available, and I might as well put them to good use. Soil enrichment, supercomputer, terraforming. And, but I'm always thinking, be ready for building ships. Maximize these worlds, be ready for building ships. So that world is technically going to be ready as soon as they get the population up. Housing, that's adorable. Let's stop because I get the feeling something's coming. And the sooner you start building, the better off we're all going to be. I don't want to start with just two. Three actually makes an enormous difference. So that's the one E. And they're off to the races. They're as good as they can be. And one D coming up fast. I think there's going to be another terraform past this one. So this actually may be my bigger world. But right now, this is the one I would rely on. If chips were down, I need to build a battleship faster. And I really would like to be building a battleship now. <laughs> Research lab, supercomputer. I know I could just do it. I could start. I have the world ready to go. But I'm greedy. I want more people on it. Starbase. Good. Good. Hydroponic. Research lab, supercomputer. We did it in this order because I was afraid they were going to be attacked. So I went for Starbase early. But as it turns out, it was unfounded. The memory colony is going to be just fine. And we made sure of it. With the, um, hmm. Barathe are nearby. Let's give them a little help. Marine barracks, just in case they get past that star base. Housing, good. That's done. Hydroponic, research lab, supercomputer, star base, and yes, even a marine barracks, even though it costs money, we have it. we're going to go up against the Barathe soon. Still no contact with other races as we start to fortify up our worlds with more research. That's the shipyard world. I'll pull him off there if I need the extra points, but for the time being, I need the farming more. Research lab down here, that's good. Miract is ours. Well, of course, I'm going to go for the world that can terraform the easiest. Actually, that was a mistake. I probably should have gone... Oh, no, what letter am I up to? 1G? Have I got 1G yet? I'm going to call it Centrix. Because it's in the center, more or less. It's the one that should attract the attention of everybody. Finally. Yep, there was a desert, wasn't there? Yeah, that was dim. Sorry about that. That was a dim move on my part. So that's the nice that's the thing about playing games after you go to work all day. You're going to make some, some bonehead plays. F, G. Yep, that's right. I did this in the right order. Get that ship over there. Start posting some kind of a defense for something that might be lurking. Let's give them one turn to appear and then we'll send the, freight out, uh, the frigate out to say hi to the neighbors. So that's housing. Going to do the best it can. Food's a little short right now. But freighters are up. We're back to building colony ships. What made our empire great. Still some freighter fleets. That's good. Okay, so we're starting to see more guys moving over to the right, which I like to see, except for critical construction worlds. Moving along nicely. Here we go. Oh, it would be the silicoids. And the Cylons. Well, they did give us some tough opponents. That's good. Hey, if I'm going to lose, I don't want to lose to a wimp. I want to lose to somebody decent. The Silicoids are decent. Uh, wait a minute. They've only got one world? What the heck happened to the Silicoids? Usually they dominate the map. And the Cylons are, well, they're not doing bad for Cylons. Everybody thinks they're the overpowered ones, but I find them very weak because they usually, the 1G penalty 
means they need gravity generators. They need, well, actually, they need a lot of things just to get their, their selves going. But I've not ever seen a map where the crystallons are down to one world. I mean, they're just ready for conquest. And they're really handy people to have around because they can construct, although technically my own race can too. Um, this We have much of the same characteristics that they share. Uh, we share much of the same characteristics. Terraforming. Which world was this? Sorry, you should pay attention. 1D Shipyard Prime, ultra rich. Has it terraformed up completely? It might have done. Nope, not yet. Sorry, I want to do those, but terraforming is more important. Hands down, it's all about terraforming. Now, I've got three command points, and I've encountered another species. So what does that mean? It means whatever the heck I was doing, stop doing it. It's time to get serious again. Sorry, you'll just have to come back to that. To Defenders 2, it's time for an upgrade. We've got some new tech now. Battle pods. Mm, not really, we don't. Um, we'll have one. Slightly heavier than the others. Just in case the battle lasts a little longer than I would like. But uh, that's not really a very impressive ship yet. But it's going to be launched because it'll be easy for me to update it later. Then we're back to supercomputer. Yep, I do have to think now. That is the side of the board I want to be on. I'm going to redirect this fleet over to here. And I'm going to ask myself, can this guy reach anybody else? Nope, not until after. Yep, he can. Not until after this Yod world is taken. And I think that's going to crack open the Borathi down here. But still asking myself, what happened to the Chris, the Silicoids? That's, that's a blowout for them. I've never seen anything like it. I love that this world is starting to produce surplus for research. That's fantastic. Now we're starting to see the fruits of our labors. These extra people, I mean, their ability to, to have children at a reasonably decent rate, they're starting to produce what we need. Surplus for research. Um, with the full four down to do the, doing this job, I mean, I would love to have a boost with robo miners to get their construction going a little faster. But with the research with the uh, being so slow, the farming being so low, I kind of need to leave these guys in farming for a while. And so I'm going to have to charge up the old crystal. Oh, there we go. Research is starting to pop in now. We need to go up the chemistry tree. You know what? We haven't talked to the neighbors, and that's a mistake. Let's say hi. Not with you. You. Good morning. Charity. I'll take your charity. By exchanging technology. Planetary missile bases all day long. Supercomputer? Yeah, you're going to get it anyway. Thank you for the free tech. To you, it's nothing. To me, it's everything. Missile bases is a winner. I always, I mean, I'll take it every time, hands down. Especially from the Cylons. They're going to get the supercomputers anyway. And yes, it does give them an enormous boost. But I also take heart from the knowledge of the fact that they're really slow building stuff. And that's the world where a missile, uh, the missile base is going to go up as soon as the numbers come up. Um, I also have to start thinking about... Housing. Oh, good. This world's ready. Automated factory, hydroponic, research lab, supercomputer, starbase. And I'll make up my mind from there. I have to think about um, the defense of our spy, our technology. Somebody here is now going to have to be designated as spy masters which means their project for terraforming may have to stop. Not this world, it's too new. Tundra. I think you're the designated one and I feel really bad about that. I could really use more terraforming here, but you could farm in a pinch. And I don't wanna lose all my tech hand over fist because I strategically choose my technology and 
If they steal it, I'm really kind of screwed because it. I think I chose it because it does give me a significant advantage. Space crystals. Another chance at an ultra-rich world. If I ever get my fleets going. Abundant. Just rich. Abundance. There's nothing wrong with that world, though. Ta. I'll take Ta all day long. We have a defender, too. And I have room for another defender, too. So, let's go back to... Oh, memory calling. He's going overboard in research. Uh, where were we? Was that the E shipyard? I think it was. Give me another defender, too, please. Sorry, it's more important than the supercomputer. Eventually, I have to unite these ships I've sent scattered all over the place into a fighting force. So these guys with just three people are already up to research lab. <laughs> Very much worth the time. And uh, some of these others I could start in a pinch, pulling them off the powered construction path, but yeah, they've got Starbase. I could. But terraforming's coming, and without the Robo Miners, they're just slow building anyway. I've got to keep that on there for a while. All my force is actually gathering at Centrix. And I've lost yet another valuable exploration craft, but making an important discovery. More research points coming in. Good, 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 good. Research lab, back there you go. Take advantage of those research points when they arrive. Well, I can't have to say though, no real arguments, we're still fairly good shape. This world's a little weak. Uh, if they would just sort of ha start having babies, that would be really nice. Which is going to be just short the next turn. Two more turns and we've got a child to help out. Isn't it amazing how the child just pops right in there and just starts pitching in? What a great bunch of troopers we are. We're such a... And we're, we're just more fun than the other races, let's be honest. Bam. Merculites. Iridium. Now, see, one of the things about being tolerant is I'm on that tree again. I don't have to worry about pollution processing. It's all about fuel range and missiles and armor. It's just so great having a limited options for choice. Defender 2, supercomputer, supercomputer, and that's it. I've used up all my command points again. Now, don't be intimidated, little Cylons. I'm not going to attack you. But I might go down here and pop over to Crystalon to see what's going on. And what else we got going on here? Starbase is coming in. Starbase is coming in. My command points will be coming up. If I can get some more terraforming, I can get more research in. Terraforming is coming along at its own sluggy pace. In all truth, this will never be a research world anyway. I probably won't put anybody over here unless my command points are at max like they are right now. I'll probably go all in on housing, which I think I will do. I've got to get those numbers up because soon is bat battleship time. Aha! We have our baby. And we have a shortage of food. No surprise there. I haven't got up the biology tree. Diplomat. Probably helped out with the negotiations. Which are slowly, I think, improving my situation. I wish mega wealth went up like everything else does when they when they level up. Aha! We have a spy. It's all up to you, little guy. Defend the realm. Okay, we're starting to pile in now. That's good. They will do that because they are construction biased. They're very construction abled. So they will start piling into those worlds hard into the construction side. And uh, we have to actually go in every now and again and pull them off and put them over in research where I want them. That's the nice thing about these people. This is a construction oriented race. They want to build. They oh, no. They killed little Spunky. I'm sorry, little Spunky. That was the Cylons. They always get the Spy Masters. Don't think the Chrysalons have the, the budget for that sort of nonsense. Yeah, you're housing up. That's good. Technically, I should leave you over there. 438. Yeah, that's almost doubling down. This is one of those situations. Throw them in. Research is not what's important here. It's getting the numbers up. 
This is a pile on world. This will also be one where I'm just going to pile them on and hope that they can get the numbers up. So when I get a battleship, I want it fast. Oh, he, everybody's finally got their numbers to max. Every extra child born now is going straight to research. Your command points are coming up. I wonder how we stack up against the others anyway. History graph. The Daleks are up near where the Cylons are. Fleet-wise, the Silicoids have the biggest fleet on their one mighty world. Tech, the Cylons have us all. Oh, wow, they beat me completely. Buildings-wise, I'm winning. Population-wise, I'm winning. Well, obviously, they have more tech, but they have some tech I don't want. I cannot believe the Chrysalons have a bigger fleet than I do. What the heck were they researching? Now, that's a research world right there. But... Before we can throw them all into research, we got to get their numbers up and get that world developed. Memory has built a colony bay. Hey, we have two people we can put there to help out. Uh, let's put a missile base up because I have a feeling that the Antarans are coming soon. And then I don't want to spend all my money on missile bases everywhere. I know the missile bases will see us through. Oh, sorry, that's a shipyard world. They'll see us through whatever attack is coming. But they also have a price tag, which is why I'm not just dropping them anywhere indiscriminately. Um, I think I can drop housing and go straight for construction for you guys. Automated, hydroponic, soil enrichment, because the farming isn't what it could be. And then Starbase. And we're going to keep an eye out for our friends, the Intarans, to come by and visit. It is a poor world, so it's going to take a while for you. You're toxic. It's never going to get better for you. In fact, in fact, you're not housing. You're my spy world. You're not terraforming. It's no obligation for you to do any terraforming whatsoever. And after you finish building the spy, <coughs> excuse me for the cough, since you've already got that far, you're back to terraforming again. That's perfect. Because I need the terraforming to happen on that world. It wasn't a perfect spy world. It was a stopgap. But it served perfectly. Terraforming another world. That's toxic. It never will. Hopefully they will soon. Baron. That's a terraforming world when it's ready. Oh yes. We're going to remove this food burden. That we're dealing with. Very soon. In the meantime next turn it's that next turn addiction oh cylons why well the gnomes now the gnomes is a race i've only ever played once before look at them unbelievable unbelievable i've never seen them do so well before i've only ever played them once before and um you don't see you're kidding me. Your, your whole species is completely centered around the concept. No, that's not a trade. Centered around the concept of trading. That's your mode of operandi. And you're not going to trade with me? You should be trading with everybody. That's how you make your money. Thank you. What do you want for that? Oh, no. So you're all jealous of my terraform. Well, I'll be honest with you, I am too. I was a little bit of luck on my part. So. These little buggers. Who do I go after first? That's an interesting question. Go there and help out. And from now on, everybody else you produce is going to research. That makes me happy. Oh, yes. We've got three on Centrics. That's good enough because, frankly, this isn't a hot world. Automated factory, missile base, hydroponic, star base. Yep, yeah, and then I'll think what I'm going to do after that, but I'm going to think combat and defense on this world. All my others, any surpluses for research? Oh, you will be soon. Terraforming, terraforming. I think that's going great. 
Still no more no more command points for me to work with. Iridium. Zortrium. The final armor. There they are. The Borum and the Nol Borathi and the Nolum are at war. I don't like the Borathi's chances. Ultra rich. 1D shipyard. Uh, Space Academy. Missile base. Research, research lab. Supercomputer. Marine barracks. Even some housing. Because I don't have the command points yet. But I have to keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. All that nego... Look at them. I've never seen them do as well as they are. This is quite an extraordinary game. Where the chrysalons. The silicoids of all people. Are not doing very well. I've, I've never seen anything quite like this. They usually dominate the board. This is a strange role switch. For me, I'm not used to this, but I do feel like I have to get up in my defenses. I mean, there's some pretty good stuff out there, and I actually think I want to start taking on some of these races and seeing what they've got under the hood. It's about time. I know I'm working on my, I'm working on my chemistry tree. As soon as I got my armor, I'm ready to upgrade my ships and go visiting with my Easter basket and see what they've got for. Centrix will soon be. We'll soon be independent enough for us to move on. Oh, I've been lackadaisical about my visiting other planets. Centrix is soon going to be ready for this. Another colony ship. Well, now, where is that going to go? Um, obviously, I want to go to Ta or Yad. If I take those, I have to defend them, though. Might be just as worth it for me to leave them alone. Um, the humble um maybe the next world because at least it's back a bit there might be a fuel shortage for these guys they can obviously reach mem though mem has one world without a defense the other one is very well defended so i have to keep an eye on mem because these guys do love their ground combat and if they get a foothold there they can reach my core world terraforming at ute well, given the food shortage, I think I'll consider this for the moment. Soil enrichment terraforming. Just for the moment. Until soil enrichment is built. Colony ship. Missile base, because the Antarans are coming. The Antarans are coming. And now I've got another colony ship, which I'm going to send to... Um. Yep. Don't worry, we haven't given up on colony ships. I just need a fleet that can go and take and hold those worlds. Uh, but if I'm going to war, somebody's just going to come around behind me and take them back again. And I don't want to lose them just yet. Housing's pumping up. They've got very close now to maximum population. In which case, I can start thinking about what those new ships are going to look like. Those battleships I'm thinking about. Because when we go in, we're going to go all in. We're just going to send out our fleet. I got to go up the, the, the beam tree temporarily uh, for the purpose of grabbing better beam weapons. Battle scanners so I can hit the target. Oh, crap. They were spied on. So, well, my relationship with them is suffering. And I went and spent all those freaking dollars trying to make friends. Let's see if we can make nice with these buggers. Nope. Well, if I can't talk to you, you're high on my list of races to go visit and destroy. Mm-hmm. I bet you want to, too. You just can't. I bet you can't quite reach. At least I'm hoping that's the truth. Mem is working on its uh, missile base. Ha-ha. <laughs> And Starbase. Because it's vulnerable. 1D Shipyard. Finished Marine Barracks. Let's see. Am I wandering aimlessly or do I actually have a plan? Housing. Let's get the numbers up. More, more technology. More researchers. More researchers. Every chance I get, more researchers. 
I need the Zor trim so I can get out of this this waiting period I'm in and get to war. I was way too long. That's my that's my problem. For anybody else out there, you know, maybe you should gamble more with like I mean I got my little fleet of ships, such as they are, guarding centrics. Some of them are pretty badly out of date. Nine turns to go. Then I still have to upgrade them. Oh, I'm always waiting too long. I have a minimum fleet I like to go out with at each step. And uh, believe me, this isn't it. This is my fleet. If I had six of these, this would be the fleet I use to take Monster World. In this case, I have a pretty good launch into space, but I'm terrible for my research. And I, that's new for me. I'm, I'm usually better equipped on the worlds I've taken. How is Centrix set up? Is it defendable? Missile base is coming in five. I have to wait it out a little longer. What now? Okay, good. Praise the Daleks. Oh, short food. Soil Island Regiments has come along and saved us all. Which world has popped that one? You guys? I think so. You guys? You're my ultra rich, rich world. Technically, I don't want you making more. F You're not a farming colony, so get this guy over to the right. At least you can do his research for me and then build your numbers up. I got two ultra rich worlds, which is nice. Research lab, terraforming, some terraforming going on, getting a food crisis past this. I'm going to go up a little bit and tax just to get that burden i know it's a loss of construction and productivity eq has nothing marine barracks on shipyard prime missile base and housing please so they're starting to max out on what they can build which i like to see you are also maxed out missile base marine barracks trade goods uh trade goods or spies I think I want to start peeking what the neighbors have. I'm going to start stealing a little bit and being a nuisance. I'm assuming my armor is going to come very soon. And I'm going to be able to make a, a defense of any attack they make on me because I've made them angry. That's the theory. Let's put it to the test. And you guys, well, don't ever change. You're doing great, too. Still a little short on those precious spies I could use. Because I've got enough for defense. I'd like to have about four of my defense. But um, let's try spreading them around a little bit and see if anything comes out of this. Let's go shopping. Now, my spying rate is absolutely abysmal. There's just... <clears throat> I don't really deserve anything. Uh-oh. The Daleks and the Noma lambs are at war. Now, usually when they say that, there's a ship like one turn away from one of my worlds and I'm reeling from the feeling. But I don't think they can reach me. I think they're reaching me via Propus. If I had an outpost ship there and I held it, I should have moved this one already, I could probably reach them and they can't reach me because they're too dumb to go up the wormhole. And even if they did, they'd have to go to Centrix. Centrix is about to build a missile base, which means my fleets are free to move back for an armor upgrade, which is absolutely the right play for turns. So let's go back and assume we're going to get an armor up fleet. Somebody killed my spies. I've lost all my spies in one shot. Because they, yes, they really are that dumb. I'm at war with them, so I'm okay spying on them. Do need more spies. So much for all my other plans. I guess if I'm at war, I should start thinking about my battle strategy. That's battleships. I just give up on these little guys and go right for battleships. And the sooner I start, the better. After all, it's war. Can't avoid it. I'm not building those little guys anymore. Normally I got about six destroyers for my defense. Uh, reinforced hull, I hate to do it, but I'm going to need extend. Actually, I don't need extended fuel tanks. I've got some pretty good 
Okay, what's my best? Fusion beam! That'll strike heart and fear into their hearts. Yeah, we're not going to rely on that too heavily. Let's go a bunch of Merculites. Fast, heavily armored. Don't know if they have countermeasures. We'll throw that on for giggles and yucks. Some fusion beam defenses. Now, we're going to miss a lot because we have minus 20 to attack. So we're going to fire a lot of those things. This ship is not long on its ability to destroy a lot of things. It is, in fact, very pitifully capable of destroying anything. But we're about to get Zortrium. And then we're going to work on making it a tougher ship before it's even built. We're all in on this ship from now on. No more fooling around. That's our ship. And in fact, our other shipyard world, this one, is also all in on that gunship. That's why we have two worlds. That's why we terraform them up first. Although this one needs a little bit of love. We've got this one to help out. He's got some support of some friends who can help him. They're going to be able to do terraforming and housing anyway. So housing, yeah, he isn't going to miss it. In fact, uh, instead of that, build me some spies now. Ordinarily, housing is the smart play, but just to get the research where it needs to be. But we're at kind of in a state of war. I need some spies to help soften up the enemy. And I got a plan. Where could they go? What might they do? And I still have to think it's Centrix is the only option. I've got to get to Propus, which means I need a colony base. Mm. I'm sorry. I mean an outpost ship. So an outpost ship is also called for. Finish that spy. Give me an outpost ship. I want to get there. I also have to think about troop transports. One E shipyard does have that other guy. One E shipyard. Housing. When the time comes, he's going to be very well equipped to build me transport ships. I don't want to do it now because I'm short on command points. Um. We're going to call this bully. It's near the Bulrathi territory and it's going to be undefended. For the most part, because we're at war with these idiots. Who chose to take on the Dalek Empire. Much to their chagrin. As soon as I get uh, some battleships, I'm going to restart ret <clears throat> the retiring destroyers. Those destroyers are just wasting space. Oh, I'm missing Robo Miners now. Terraforming, good. It obviously wasn't this world. Housing, what are you guys doing? Um, you're at maximum housing. There's nothing more you can do that way. So I'm going to put you like this and like this. And I'm going to have you guys doing the opposite, which is trade goods. Let's get some uh, money coming to the Empire so I can get less people. This is my... Oh, this is the world that was doing that. The good work for terraforming. So I'm rich been terraforming. As soon as you start having a surplus population, they're going to go right into farming and you'll be all set. Things are moving that way. Four points. Nope, where we're, where we're a little short is battleships. We're working on them. They're coming. Very, very, very slowly. But they're coming. More housing. More people in science. More research. Supercomputer. Starbase. Terraforming. 36. That's good for dollars coming in. So let's see now. What would you do at this point? What would you do? These guys are definitely too close for comfort, but 
There's some crappy worlds giving us some buffer. They are far away, but they're the ones we're at war with. If I go to war with them, one, two, three, four, five, it gives us basically this whole corner is open then. What is going on with silicoids? I don't know, but we're going to find out as soon as that ship is ready. We're going to go down there. We're going to start visiting the neighbors. Oh, so close. It's painful now. Spy, getting a new spy. That's good. I have to see what they've got down there. I've just got to know what's happened in this corner. Is there completely available worlds down there? Why aren't they going in there? I don't know. 40. It's worth it. It is so worth it. Although the point research points are valuable. Bullies coming. Spy on memory. Starbase in 16. Oof. It's going to be a while. Oh, come on. 76%. I wait for spies. We're in good shape. We got my four. Should make permanent friends with the Cylons now. Oh, I've got eight spits. Okay, that's fine. Zortrium, finally. Is it worth it for me to pop up this tree for a minute? That's right. Class 1 shields really don't do very much. They're tempting, but I got the Zortrium. Actually, I'm going to go up and grab Robo Miners. I grow tired of waiting for my construction. There. That's my first step. Get that thing. That nine long turns over there. Actually, the other thing I should think about is... Uh, fusion Drive first. To get the ships moving faster. The gunships. Design. Gunship. We now have our Zortrium armor. Which means our Merculites are very merved and extremely effective. So we're building the new gun ships. That's the E shipyard, D shipyard. The only other thing I want on my gun ships is um, battle scanners. Very badly want that. But we're just going to start setting them out. We have an excess spy. Send him over. Say hi. Find out what his secrets are. Let's have an audience with you. I can't fight a war on multiple fronts. I'm not worried about the silicoids, obviously. Yeah, sure, you can have that crappy technology. That's what you want for peace? I want you to have it. It would make me very happy to know that you have that. Could just sacrifice those destroyers. Send them down there? It's war after all. Yes, I think I might. Terraforming. They're kind of a symbol though. While they're there, the other races think I've got a fleet. An impressive and powerful fleet. It's possibly holding them back from attacking. As soon as I lose them, these other weenies, like the Borathi, might think it's an or the or the even the Cylons might think, oh, his weak, he's got a weak empire. Let's move in and take him out. So right now. They're kind of a token force that says, leave them alone. I like that. I like that aspect. I don't, I mean, this old Sun Tzu adage, uh, appear strong where you're weakest and appear weak where you are strong. Right now, I need to appear a little stronger because I'm pretty weak everywhere. I've got a burgeoning empire, but uh, they're building so slowly. Spies, yes, that's good. More spies. Give me more spies. I don't even know what they have. Let's let's do a, a report on these guys. What am I up against? Laser rifles. Okay. I have a, uh, planetary missile bases, so that's going to be impressive. Ion cannons. They can knock out my systems, and I have no shields. Having a class one shield pulse on missile might actually help. He, on the other hand, has shields and heavy armor. But I don't see, besides the pulse hunts, I don't see any heavy weaponry. Our first experimental fleet will find out. Oh, here comes the Antarans. Robo Minas. Those little puppies will really speed things up. Where are they going? Uh, I thought they'd come to my worlds. I'm surprised to see they're not. 
Possibly insulted? Definitely surprised. Head over to Centrix. And guard that outpost ship with your life. Gunship in two. Yep, we're just going to launch them as they are. I'm not going to wait and upgrade and upgrade and upgrade like I have sometimes do that. But not this time. We're going in. We're going in. We're going to test their defenses with a couple of gunships and see what they've got under the hood. And if I get anywhere, I'm going to start setting down some troop transports from this world that's making me those very precious trade goods. Spy, you can back off that a little bit. Don't want to go overboard on spies. Uh, ooh, centric. See, that one's tempting because it is a central world. Maybe I'll just let them build. Oh, excuse me, um. I don't want to miss you. You're, you're an important world too. Okay. So we got enough worlds. We should be able to do all right. Providing I can get some construction up. That needs robo miners. Hot! Hey, they got two worlds. Eh, I'll think about you. Gunships are built. And I'm at minus one, setting the gunship down. Thanks to the fusion drive, it won't take 10 million years, only 5 million years. Which means it's time to start destroying some destroyers. I've got surplus on the payroll because I haven't got the space on my command points for them. Supercomputers, thank you very much. Yep. Although, mm, Star High could use the research too, believe me. Marine barracks, in case they some come and say hi. Research lab. Spaceport. Oh, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Terraforming or that? Leaving the world vulnerable is always a tricky decision. Robos! All right, let's quick crap up this shield here for the fusion rifle. Oh, nuts. It's the spying. It's ruining everything. Just when you start to make friends, somebody comes along and mucks it all up. Okay, now we have two gunships heading over. Now, I'm going to make a dent in all this wonderful gunship production with some robo miners and spaceports. And this should be the turning point for our empire. Because once we get robo miners. We're really very, very quick at building everything because there's no pollution whatsoever and the advantage goes back to us. If we keep the construction in our fort, in our corner, that particular advantage is hard to beat. And all these lo slow, low numbers we're seeing should stop being an issue. Where are the Antarans, I wonder, in all this? Even housing? Yep, yeah, the housing is secondary to robos. Everybody gets those because at some point everybody gets called upon to build something. Yeah, I'll let the terraforming finish. It's too close to being done. Three points. It's not something I want to interrupt. Gunship. Oh, yes. That gunship's going to fly off the assembly line when this is built. Spaceport will have to wait a minute until I get my... I know I'm maxed out on my command points, but war is a different thing. As soon as you go to war, you have to, you have to go up a few command points. There's no avoiding it. Rainbow Miner Spaceport. This is, in, you know, it's inconvenient to have to stop in the middle of everything and build these things. Oops, I made a boo-boo. But uh, in the long run, it's it's very much worth the time spent. Robo Miner Spaceport. Trade good. We're going to lose some trade goods. That's fine. Robo Miners will boost that, although they come at a cost. We're missing that trade with the Cylons now. That hurts financially. Uh, no, sorry, no spaceport on a gunship world. And I have to look at very soon updating those gunships for weapons that I don't think our enemy has. So if we go up the beam tree now with the battle scanner, we're going to start hitting things. And I very much want to start hitting things and put the enemy on their back foot. We've left them go unchallenged for too long. Yeah, not quite there yet. All right, click. Fusion beam, fusion rifle. See already, our battleships are changing. 
on the ground, we're going to look like better fighters. First one is Robo Miners, done. And now our battleships are eight turns. Okay, and this one's going to have it done in one turn. That's good. Ooh, Robo Miners will really kick things up there. Now I gotta start looking at my numbers. In some worlds, I'm gonna make do with just three or two people now. Because the Robo Miners are, are such a huge force for construction. Um, I might just do that again. I know. Research is suffering for it, but it makes a huge difference when we're constructing things. Yep. Okay. And I think that's that's largely due to my ship overage. And I know where I'm going to 20% and that is absolutely not ideal. Squadrons are converging on Centrix. Battle scanners. Neutron blasters. This is the big edge we have that they won't have. No, 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 no. We're not putting the outpost there. So we got a bit of a fleet. Two more turns till that one comes. How long before I have to upgrade the gunship? Eight turns. Oh, well, we should get that done in time. Good. Now our construction is starting to make a little more sense. Not quite as many turns as it was before. And the one E shipyard. Uh, the one e, uh, Cylon spiders. You monsters. I don't think that was the Cylons, though. Might have been. They're mad at us now. Replaceable. But I have to keep my eye on them because they are very, very, very powerful and they're right up in my face. So, am I going to have a war on two fronts? I hope not. If I have to go after anybody, then it'll be the Cylons because they are technically too close for comfort. But we're not at war with each other at the moment. I could try it for an audience again. Nope, he's mad at me. That makes me sad. I don't want to make him mad. We'll go make him mad, though. What's he got under the hood? Okay. First fleet, ready for launch at the enemy. And no doubt when I attack, that's when the, silic the, the Antarans will come and mush me. And 1E... Is making uh, transports. Now I'm in range of their world. They don't think they're in range of mine. I want to see what they have going on down there. If I have to, I'll just simply destroy it and take them out of range of my world. I'm not going in there with an ideal fleet by any stretch of the imagination. But on the other hand, I'm not too worried about that little guy. Gee, now I'm kind of hoping that transport ships show up soon. I might just take that one. Spies. Gunship 7, gunship and 4. Starbase. I'm hoping... Oh, good, star bases. I like that. That extends my command points. I'm willing to sacrifice a few ships he went to propus of course hmm strategically i gotta see what he's got i'm gonna see if i can destroy him knock him backwards because he's gonna destroy my outpost ship he's got the neutrons fusion beams pulsons class on technically he's got a better ship except his armor is terrible okay so let's go ahead these nukes are not going to do that much. I don't have Dauntless Guidance. Here, here. Uh, let's destroy whatever's on. Let's play it smart. Let's not lose too quickly. Let's shoot and run. Shoot and run. We'll let the big ships go in. I think he's going to go after the little ones. Even though they're running away. I don't know if this is going to destroy their missile base. I hope so. 
Maybe, just maybe our bigger ship can get close enough to the star base to do the damage one on one. Although we're moving mighty slow. Oh, it's a good thing I'm depending on those fusion beams to save me. Because otherwise I'd be in so much trouble. Good. We hit something. I really want that missile base gone. If I can't, I'm going to destroy that freaking place completely. Put some separation between my ships. That one's doomed to destruction, I see. Let's go ahead and fire another one. This is a look-see ship mission. Okay, that one's also doomed to destruction. But in the meantime, I'm going to hurt them. They only have titanium armor. Looks like this is all the battle we're going to have time for tonight, so I better make this one a good one. Oh, direct hits. Oh, buggers. I'm going to save my point defense. Aha! We hit something. Anything aimed at him? Nope. Can you hit it? Anything. Point defense usually has an attack bonus. Okay, who's aimed at you? That's new. Somebody's aimed at you. But I still need them firing at you guys and not the battleships. The battleships have to get closer. As long as you exist, they're going to keep chasing you. If they do have Dauntless Guidance, it's a long way back. So let's draw the fire of the missile base from the bigger, slower, clumsier, and getting crunched battleship, frankly. Guess you're staying where you are. You're even getting through that class one crappy shield? Really? Where is that thing? Hmm. The closer they get, the more effective they should be. Ooh, that was a big hit on that battleship. Keep running, boyo. If I lose you, it's okay. I don't care. I know. Very cold-blooded of me. This was a look-see mission. Uh, retreat. Retreat. We get a chance to see if they have Dauntless Guidance this way. Retreat. Don't die, battleship. Don't die. Oh, you may be going to die. Sorry, big guy. Ooh, some of those Merculites have been hitting. I like that. Or, uh, yep, they have Merculites. That makes me very happy. I don't know what kind of shape the missile base is in, but... I think that thing's gone. Oh, that's good. We did it. We took... We are going to bombard them into the Stone Age. They are gone. Neutrons. Planet gravity, planetary gravity generator. They destroyed Lyra. Or they destroyed our colony base, I'm sure. Scouts arrived at Lyra. Yes, they did. Except that's better than war. I'll take it. That's better than a war. If I set course now, though, I don't have advanced damage control. Ah, craptacular. I can reach them with a call. It's nice to know I can reach them, though. I can reach them, but they can't reach me. Not a bad balance for a war, really. Finish your spy. Give me another outpost ship because that one's as good as gone. We're going to go back down there and finish the war with a better class of warship. Which we're working on right now. In fact, didn't we just get something? Planetary gravity. Yeah, we got neutrons. All right. Well, while we're thinking about it, let's throw the bomb there. Design. Gunships. Class 2. We're catching up fast, guys. We're catching up fast. Neutron blasters. 
Heavy mount. Now we missed a lot. That's about to change. Battle scanners. Don't need as many of these now. Although they were really effective. I'm going to get by with a lot more of these little bad boys. Enveloping. Continuous. Continuous means I've got a better chance of hitting. Basically, it's like firing a continuous beam of energy at the enemy. You know, tracking it as opposed to pulses. Where you have to kind of, like Star Wars, you have to try to try to hit it. If you have one continuous beam and you can move the beam around until you finally hit it, it makes targeting a lot better. So, Gunship 2 is on the menu. Next time we go down that wormhole, we're going to go down with a better ship. And some transports. Because we now know we can take on a missile base. Thanks to our gunships. Our missile bit our, our little missile ships. Which is quite nice. Those other ones are gonna come back for a refit. Aha, housing. That's good. Please continue automated factory. Missile base, rubble miner, star base. Build that first and you're gonna be well defended. Right now I'm not too worried about my defense. It's it's my offense. And my defense is pretty good. We have star bases. Our tech is coming up for this, certainly. Uh, shoot. A little short on our groceries. Hmm. So, anyway, we've had our first battle. And uh, it was a successful battle. We're going to settle the Battle of Propus later. But uh, it's taken a little longer than I thought. But we know we can hold our own. And that's the point of this. It's an impossible game. You know, it's, it's, it's hard for, they call it impossible for a good reason. It is going to be impossible to win. We're going to try to win it anyway, because that's the way this works. But we're, we, I'm trying to introduce you to a race that should hold its own, and it is holding its own. It's being very effective. And we're now that we got some Robo Miners, and that, for me, is really the key. Although, so is that advanced damage control. I have to think about that very quickly. But gravity generator is going to come in very handy, because if I miss, unless I miss my guess, there's one, two... Three. Huh. Shipyard worlds are not a problem. That's unusual. I'm wrong. Nope. I'm not wrong. So three of my original core worlds have a gravity problem. The other ones don't. I thought it was worse than that. But either way, uh, they're going to suddenly start working like they've never worked before. Gravity generators will fix that. And they're just going to get a huge boost to what they can build. So gravity, gener gravi gravity generators usually make a big difference. And beyond that, the thing I really am desiring, subspace communications. We get all these command points and then I can have a lot of battleships and they don't. And I can build them faster. So battleship wars are important. I definitely have to get the Cylons off my port side here. Anyway, thank you very much for listening, everybody. Uh, it's going a little slower than I expected, but the next time you guys come back, you should see a major war, possibly multiple wars on multiple fronts. If, 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 we can get the subspace communications going. So in the meantime, thank you very much for listening. If you like this, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more, go to our website, www.pocketcaptains.com. And uh, remember, try to have a little bit of fun every day. Good night, everybody. Get more tips at pocketcaptains.com.